Welcome to another edition of Backyard Bible Studies. We're continuing our series on the theme, Just As I Thought, because it's all about our thoughts. Yesterday, we got into a couple of those principles, and uh, we promoted two ideas, basically. The first one was this. Our mind is like the control center of our life. It all begins in the mind. The battle is fought in the mind. Every decision we make, every action we take begins with a thought. And so understanding the importance of our thought life. Secondly, is this, that we need to pay attention to what we're thinking about. We need to, we need to think about what we're thinking about. We need to give thought to what we're thinking about or who we're allowing to have our thoughts because our thoughts can easily be hijacked. Our thoughts can easily be taken hold of. And that's why the scripture tells us that we need to cast down every thought and, and imagination that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. We need to be in control of our thought life. So I want to talk to you a little bit more about that today. And so let's get into it. Uh, promoting two new precepts here today. And the first one is this. On purpose, think good thoughts. Now, just as yesterday we talked about how important it is to know what we're thinking about and, and to be aware of our thought processes, hey, we need to actively pursue thinking good thoughts. Good thoughts in our lives, good thoughts in our minds, good thoughts are the order of the day, or they should be for each and every one of us. Not only should we be thinking good thoughts, we should be thinking God thoughts. We should be thinking thoughts that align with the Word of God. Why? Because the Word of God is quick and powerful. The Word of God is able to discern rightly and rightly divide. The Word of God is able to help us grow and be strengthened and encouraged. And so it's important for us then to recognize we need good thoughts. We need God thoughts. We need thoughts that are aligned with the Word of God in our minds, in our hearts, in our lives. So let's say when you wake up in the morning, you know, you start having negative thoughts. Oh, man, another lousy day or, oh, I don't feel good already. Instead of that, you need to start replacing those negative thoughts with some positive God oriented thoughts like this. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it or rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. See what you're doing is you are putting the word of God into action in your thought life at the very beginning of your day, setting yourself up for something positive and something productive instead of something negative and something detrimental. We want something that's going to help us grow and help us expand and help us to enlarge our faith. And that's what thinking God thoughts will do. The second precept that I'd like to propose to you today is this. If we don't set our minds, I was talking about fixing our mind yesterday. If we don't set our minds, guess what? The enemy will set it for us. And you don't want the enemy set in your mind because he will attack your mind with negative words, with negative thoughts, with, with negative ideas, with things that are contrary to the word of God, that are contrary to you moving forward in faith and forward in life and becoming the person that God wants you to be. And so you need to set your mind. I love what Paul said in Acts chapter 26 and verse number two, when he said, I think myself happy. The first words of that verse, I think myself happy. Now, he was getting ready to face King Agrippa, and he was letting him know, man, I consider myself fortunate being able to come before you and present my defense of the gospel of Jesus Christ to you. That's what he was sharing. But notice that he started off with his thought, I'm thinking myself happy. I think I'm happy. I, I think happy thoughts. I'm thinking good thoughts. I'm thinking encouraging thoughts, encouraging words. The very things that he said that we talked about yesterday, that we should think on these things. Oh yeah, he was actually doing what he had suggested Think on things that are good. Think on things that are lovely. Think on things that are gonna that are gonna encourage, that are gonna edify. Think on those things. 
people can get so caught up in issues and so caught up in their problems that they think themselves discouraged. They think themselves into a bad place mentally, into a bad place emotionally, and even into a bad place physically. Why? Because if you don't set your mind correctly, the enemy's going to set it for you. It's going to be set one way or another. That's why you need to set your mind on things above, not the things of this world. Oh, come on, somebody. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about today. You know, if we're not careful, we'll begin to think about the wrong things and we'll begin to, we, we watch too many news reports, we hear too many negative words and we start to think negatively and we start to think wrongly we we start to think oh everything's horrible everything's bad and it's getting worse and 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 oh man you know i'm i just don't feel good and and maybe i'm sick everybody's getting sick so maybe i'm sick oh i feel like <coughs> i feel like i'm getting sick right now what are we doing we're actually thinking those things into our lives and bringing those thoughts into our lives allowing the enemy to mess with our minds. Our minds should be minds of victory, minds that say, hey, I'm the healed of the Lord. And see, now, just as you can do the negative, and just as you can think yourself depressed, and think yourself sick, and think yourself into a bad uh, mood, you can also do the opposite. You could think yourself into the right frame of thinking, into the right mind, because that's what Paul said. I think myself happy. So just as you can think yourself depressed and think yourself into a bad mood, you can think yourself into a good mood and think yourself happy. Why? By focusing on the truth of the Word of God and start thinking God thoughts and letting those thoughts then direct your mind and direct your actions and direct your attitude. Now, here's an idea. Don't go through the day thinking about those things that depress you and thinking about your problems and just focusing on all of the negatives and that person that hurt you and the person that offended you. All those thoughts are going to do is bring you down. They're just going to discourage you. They're just going to put you in a bad place mentally and emotionally, and even eventually physically if you keep ruminating on those things. Instead, begin to think on good things. Begin to think on God things. That's why we desperately need the Word of God in our life, because the Word of God brings life and brings hope and brings help and brings healing to us when we begin to ruminate on the Word of God. That's why David said, your word I've hidden my heart so I won't sin against you. I'm believing the word that says, hey, I'm the healed of the Lord. I'm believing the word that says, I have hope and, and the best is yet to be. My God is for me and not against me and this too shall pass, all of those are positive statements that build up your mind as it should be in Christ. Stop allowing the enemy to give you a negative mindset. Instead, have a God-centric mindset filled with the Word of God, filled with faith, filled with hope, filled with love, filled with what God has for you in the future, a mindset that's going to make you happy, that's going to make you better, not bitter. When you set your mind on the things above, when you set your mind on a God-oriented attitude and atmosphere, hey, things are only going to get better and better. So I hope that helps you today. That's my word for you today. Do these things. Start putting them in practice and see if they won't help you. When you get up in the morning, instead of saying, oh man, I feel terrible, get up in the morning and say, hey, I'm blessed. It's another day to live for Jesus. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.